Nasa na ba tayo? You know what? We've been here. Uh, sabi dito sa map, ito yung fault eh. So, malapit na tayo sa way pataas. Sabi yan, nagugutom na ako. Malayo pa ba? Nakakapagod. So, tininda natin pa ta. Ito. Basta, dito ako dadaan. Kapit dito sa map. Eh, may alam mo kung may sa map. Ito sabi nga sa map, dito pa sa atin. Ano doon kayo sa kabila? Racing na lang tayo. Kaya na tayo makaya. Tara! Sige. Siyempre, mas mabilis yung inclinator kaysa sa way na dyan, no? The inclinator is designed to eliminate the constant climbing of steps for homes built on sites with a steep access and hazardous climb. The car moves on wheels that run between the upper and lower flanges of the racked rail. The main gear is in constant mesh with this rack and there is absolutely no danger of the car sliding down the rail. Were you amazed at the inclinator? Now you'll be more amazed if you learn about the physics concepts that were involved. The inclinator is a compound machine composed of four simple machines. The incline plane, the pulley, the wheel and axle, and the lever. The incline plane is the inclinator itself. It uses the mechanism of bringing people up or down. The pulley is the grooved wheel mounted on a frame which contains the strands used to change the direction of a force, enabling the inclinator to move up or down. The wheel and axle works together with the pulley. It consists of two wheels mounted on the same axle, which moves around a common point. In the trip, John chose to use the stairs. The work done by John is the product of the height he climbed and his weight. While Nina, Missy, and Steph use the inclinator to reach the top, the work done by the motor of the inclinator is the incline distance traveled multiplied by the incline component of the weight of the car and the passengers and friction force. John only carried his weight and the inclinator carried up to three times John's weight, both John and the inclinator arrived at the top at the same time. And John was exhausted. The machine was not. Yeah.